Hello friends, welcome back to my tutorial on Splunk. Today we are going to see about Splunk user administration. We will be going through Splunk authentication, what are the different user roles and how to create new user and provide necessary access. If you have not watched my previous tutorial please do so and subscribe to my channel. When we set up Splunk Enterprise we will have administrator account configured as part of it. Let's log in with the admin account using the respective password you have configured at the time of Splunk installation. Splunk admin role has the most capabilities assigned to it. When you go to settings on Splunk bar you will see the settings options available for admin account, which will not be available for other normal users. Splunk bar, under settings go to authentication methods. Here you will be able to configure your authentication for your Splunk instance. Currently we are using native Splunk authentication. You can configure your Splunk to use LDAP or SAML authentication. In this tutorial we are not going to see that, I will have a separate tutorial created for configuring LDAP authentication. Let's go to users under settings, you will be able to see the admin account listed here. You can see what is the role mapped to the user, and also you can click on view capabilities to find out what are the permission available for the account. Now go to settings, under users, and authentication select roles. You will be able to see the default roles available in Splunk which are admin, can underscore delete, power, Splunk system role, and user. We will be mainly using only three roles which are admin, power, and user. Now let's create a new user. We will be creating a new user which will be assigned the role of user. A Splunk user role can create and edit its own saved searches, run searches, edit its own preferences, create and edit event types, and other similar tasks. You will not be able to create any alerts or share your reports with others. When we create the user, you can also give the default app to which the user should log in and can also define if the user need to change the password at the time of first login. Follow along.
Now let me create a new user and assign the role power. The power user role can edit all shared objects like saved searches, etc. and alerts, tag events, and other similar tasks. the login of Splunk Power User, you can see that it allows to create alerts. Let me create an alert and will share the alert with normal Splunk user. We can also create customized roles. Click on create new role and you can use the existing roles and combine together, or edit existing roles or even you can manually select capabilities that should be assigned to the role.
hope this tutorial is informative for you. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you guys soon with another interesting tutorial on Splunk.